infections in their in their lungs or even in a yeast infection they got so often our body is out of balance with a lot of organisms that are doing us harm and sometimes we need a help now the idea is that your body can do it your body can make all the chemicals you need if it's flourishing got the right nutrients got the right exercise got the right metals it can produce what your body needs to combat with that but sometimes it needs some help all right so so we just get the help from the plant kingdom all right we check right what does that oil do so what they do is they they lift usually by steam distillation they will gently lift um, the the um, they'll, they'll dilute the oil down they'll mix it they'll mix it and then they'll put some heat under it and then they'll lift up the steam and then they'll separate the steam from the oil it separates out okay so it, it's very concentrated so it takes about every plant's different but lavender for example if you want a kilogram of oil you have to use about 70 to 80 kilograms of lavender plant so that's very concentrated if you want the rose oil if you want a kilogram of rose oil you need four tons oh, that's huge now this is why the rose essential oil is expensive you've got to get four tons of those petals in order to create one kilogram that's gigantic and we're not doing it in a lab so what they would do is in order to make things cheap other companies try and make them in a lab do you know what I mean? And they're allowed to call them pure essential oils because they're the, they're the same chemical, right? But they're not really the same chemical, but they're similar enough that they're allowed to call it a pure essential oil, okay? And that's not okay. There's frankincense oil out there that you can buy for $12 for a fair bit. Yeah. It has no therapeutic... It smells quite nice, but, but it actually has no therapeutic quality at all because it's actually all made in a lab. So with the doTERRA essential oil, what they do is they get the right trees from Somalia and from those Arabic nations, and they're trees that live in a desert. And so, so there's not many of them. And they take the sap out, and there's seven grades, and they only take the best medicinal quality or, um, resin in order for these essential oils. Anyway, I love using the essential oils. I'm learning more and more. Um, my wife knows more about them than me because I'm, I'm more um, oils, herbs, nutrients, acupuncture, chiropractic. So I'm sort of res doing studies all the time, the essential oils. What do they do? How they work and how do they benefit people? So she has a, a wealth of information there, which is fantastic. Gigantic. She's really applied herself so, um, for a very, very long time. <clears throat> so I'd like to talk about some of the essential oils especially the new ones. Um, there's the one I'd like to start talking about is the um, turmeric essential oil. So why would we use turmeric essential oil? We can all go get the turmeric spice, can't we? Mm -hmm. Or we can go to the health food store and get a fantastic curcumin, which is curcumin is the active part of turmeric. So they pull the curcumin out. But the interesting thing is that the turmeric powder and the cucumin do not have the oil left in there okay so if you really want to get that working properly you add the oil back in you use the turmeric oil in fact there's a patented turmeric extract which i think metagenics have a fairly good hold on they keep the oil in their turmeric blend and it's a special blend that has a profound effect on depression and inflammation Okay, now we're lucky we've got the turmeric oil and you can add that to the powder to take or take it with your curcumin tablet. And what does it do? The, the turmeric oil is fantastic for inflammation, right? It's fan it is generally re known as being anti-cancer. It's um, an, a very powerful antioxidant. And it's been shown that for um, gastric issues like ulcerative colitis, if you use the oil with the turmeric, it's actually a lot more powerful. Okay, so it's all, it's all in the science that has all been researched. And we're just lucky that people research all this stuff. So, the turmeric oil is very valuable. Um, so I, I think that's a, a fantastic one. 
The second one I'd like to talk about a little bit is the cabayaba, and that's from a tree in Brazil, especially in the Amazon, called the cabayabara, okay? Um, tree, right? Now that tree, they, they actually use about 500 tonnes of this tree a year, right? That's a big export for that country, so it's fantastic for that, that country. So, um, what it is, is that our body has, um, has anyone heard of endocarabinoids, right? So there's receptors in your brain, right? There's little receptors, right? So everyone heard of insulin receptors, right? So you've got other receptors in the brain and through your whole body, actually, not just in the brain and spinal cord. And those receptors are, are for the endocarabinoids, okay? Now, they're like a reset system. So when we get inflamed, when we get toxic, when we get a bit drained, when we get toxins loading our nervous system, when we get inflamed through our system, our body goes into aging, right? But there's another system, this endocarabinoid system, that when it works well, it's like a reset button on the mitochondria throughout your body, which is the energy production, and it's also a reset button for healing. So if you just read up on a, a little bit, it's so interesting. Now this is why there's so much research lately, and there's so many talking about the marijuana oil. Okay, that's the that's CBD is carabinoids. Okay, and but they have one which is also the THC. But we've got one that's legal, which is the cabayaba, because that's that helps to reset your system. So it goes in and stimulates as a neurotransmitter, a stimulation in your nervous system that helps to reset it into healing. So it's very calming for people. A lot of people who have issues with ADD just are, are, um, are just generally agitated in their nervous system. People are depressed. I had one lady, I, I treat allergies. I had one lady I was, um, treating for, for allergies and we were struggling through because I know through kinesiology if it's clear if it's balanced if it's balanced from the prior time or not and we're working on this lady for a while and there was one that was there we were at a little bit of a sticking point and I wasn't even able to shift some parasites in the system as well anyway the next time I saw her everything seemed cleared I thought oh that's clear that's clear that's clear and I said oh that's and suddenly everything shifted. She says, it kitty. She said, I've started taking kebaya oil. Oh. Yeah. And that was in that last week. And I didn't yeah. tell her to take it because I didn't realise for her it would have that profound effect. So it's kind of, re it helped to reset her system so that it could work with my work better. Yeah, so that was fantastic. Um, the, um, I have to check what else was going talk about um, there's different types of depression there's some people we say they're depressed and they're actually more anxious yes. than depressed then there's depressed people who are suicidal in fact with the kebaya book they, they were you know how I've never used it but people who say they have marijuana they get the munchies Right, so when you stimulate that those receptors, it, it activates your hunger centers. Mm -hmm. And so, what they did, the drug company thought, Oh, that's interesting. What if we block those receptors? What if we get a drug to block those receptors? So, as a, a appetite, appetite suppressants, do you know why they had to stop the trials? People were suicidal, mm -hmm. they had to stop it. They stopped the whole drugs. Yeah. The, and, and this out, just Google it, it's out there. So they stopped this drug trial because people were just deeply, deeply depressed, all right? By blocking these receptors that were after stimulating. Fish oils work along this pathway. So basically by having fish oils, we're actually helping the body with the good oil so it can make its own carabinoids. Do you know what I mean? So the ideal is that we stimulate how our body makes the carabinoid. That's ideal. But sometimes we need help. Sometimes why not take the kebab or it's got the carabinoid stimulate 
action right there, and we're helping to flush through the nervous system of toxins and drugs. It just it's like doing a washout. Do you know what I mean? Mm. You use a good oil to move a bad oil, or you just and so it just helps the system to reset. So now I'm not saying it's the universal one for all anxiety and all depression, but I've been treating the lady. Now I didn't what um, I've used some essential oils on one lady recently. Um, she's severely, severely depressed. Um, up till now, she's back cooking again. She's back cleaning again. She's in the garden again. And she's jumping in the ocean again, and she's going home to um, Brazil. Actually, funnily enough, mm -hmm. she's going back to Brazil um, soon, very soon. Before she couldn't cook, she couldn't wash. She stayed at home. She didn't go anywhere. It was an effort to come in for a treatment. Okay, she was on two heavy duty drugs. Really, well, one not so heavy duty. One's just an antidepressant. And then, a, but really strong dose, very strong dose. And then another another one to block the antidepressant so she could sleep. Yeah. So it was one to push the serotonin up and another one to block the serotonin so she could shut down and sleep. And that was an antidepressant. Yes, she was on an antidepressant. She's off that now. She's off the antidepressant. And under the, and the, psych, the psychiatrist knew she's coming to me and said, good. And I thought, oh, that's that's <laughs> That's fantastic. And then she said, keep that up. I think she thinks I'm just doing acupuncture, which I am, but I'm doing a lot of stuff. You know what I mean? And so she, these things, we use these things to help, and you've got to work out, right, how much has that helped? What have we done? Now, where do we go from here? What do we include? And and she wouldn't be, she would be severely, but she wouldn't be going back home to Brazil. She would be just staying at home. So, um, yeah. So, what else? Any other questions? So, how would, would it, do you do it internally or um, topically or both? The kabaya bar? Yeah. You mean? The, I, I would use, personally, I use, would use the kabaya internally, and you can take it in a pill capsule, form, the capsule. Yeah. Well, if, if you don't like the taste, or you can take it with the taste, I truly don't think it matters. Um, it goes in your system, right? Um, for little kids, you, you'd probably have just rub it on their lymphatics, or maybe on their feet, because it will go through their system. Your skin is, absorbs things very greatly. So uh, the beauty of the essential oils, you can use them on kids. So for example, say I've got a little kid who I think has got parasites, or a yeast infection, you know, you can't get them to take stuff. Do you mm -hmm. know what I mean? And they're not going to swallow essential oils and they can't often swallow capsules or tablets. And you rub on the oil and it goes through, and because their system's basically so clean, it just works. Do you know what I mean? It's fantastic. I had a guy the other, um, a few weeks ago, terrible sinus, and uh, I just got him to sniff clove oil. That's all. I said, just sniff it. That's all. Oh, no, I got him to take some as well. Uh, a drop of clove oil. I said, take, because... There was a mold and fungal infection in his gut and through his sinuses is what it said through the kinesiology. And he just shifted it. It's fantastic. So then he brought <coughs> his two children and his wife in for treatment too. Because, um, you know, a very masculine man who, who, um, who then, you know, because it had such a profound effect on his health. So you can do these things. You can work out, right, where have you got it? Is it in the lungs? Is there a bacteria in there? So you breathe something in to get in. Yes. When you said that you took it, did yes. you just mix it in water? Or yes. Or yes, that's right. So it's strong, like it's a power, you know, that's going to smell and taste bad, but you, you just do it. And you can drop it in a little capsule and close it up and then do it that way. There's always another way, but you know, it's all filling, time consuming, and he didn't mind. He said, just don't touch my beard. He was allergic to coffee. He said, all right, I'll give up coffee. And he was having like seven cups a day. Wow. And that was, I think, me. And he was having beer. Right? Oh. A lot of beer. I said, you're highly allergic to coffee. You've got to stop all your coffee at the moment to get on top of this. He said, all right, but don't you talk about my beer. <laughs> we fixed him even without dropping your beer. I was worried because it's yeast. Yeast and fungus is in there. <laughs> so he's off it. <laughs> anyway. <laughs>
So I've got tons of stories, and I don't even remember them all, but, um, but it's, it's not a new, new, new product that the Slim and Sassy, the Smart and Sassy, they call it now. It's, it really helps people lose weight. People who are exercising, they're doing the diet, they're looking up the nutrition, but I think what it does is sometimes it just picks up your metabolism, it helps to clean out your liver, but it also helps to draw out some toxins that we're holding in our fat cells. And it helps mm -hmm. to move some of the toxins out with it. And that's why we're holding the fat anyway, because we're holding some toxins there and we're surrounded in fat to make it safe. So it just helps to release it better. It's gotten so many people over this sticking point of losing oh, weight. Sassy. So how much of that do you take? So with that one, I get people at, what's that? Five drops like shit. <laughs> well, I, I tell people. It's a diuretic. Yes, which often there's <laughs> fluid. Yeah. It's the fluid you've got to move as well as the fat. But you've got, every case is different. Yeah, yeah. Every case is different. So if five drops is like too strong for you, you drop it back. Do you know what I mean? But other people, I told people the other day, I said five drops in your day's drinking water. I did, just the other day. I mean the whole day. Yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, no, I did it in one water. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't really thinking and I just went on my head. Yeah, so that's why you've got to just re read it, read it, see what's okay and what's not okay. And then there's how your body responds. We all have an individual response to anything, okay? I might eat wheat and be fine, and then someone else eats wheat and they're not okay. It's the same with anything you take. You've got to listen to your body, and you don't just go, oh, it's good for me, and just keep forcing it in. What's that? My baby did not like it when I was Which breastfeeding. One? The yeah. smart and sassy. Yeah, well, it goes through the... She did it'll go through everything. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it goes into the milk. She, yeah, so I had to... <coughs> had to stop um, it. I was hoping to get rid of it. I was like... This is Andy Paris. I'm in jail. Can't help Paris like that.